can cut it all. Three, stop! <laughs> Whoever loses, you know they have to go to jail. Today, we are going to be eating the last meal of death row inmates. Ooh. Here's how it's gonna work, okay? We're going to be presented with two meals, and we're gonna have to guess what meal that inmate requested as their last meal. And for the first inmate, we are going to go with Saddam Hussein. Oh. I feel weird saying that. I know, I don't like saying it either. Let's eat. Let's go. Boiled chicken, white rice, and hot water with honey. Wow. Beef kebab, sharma, and hummus. Whoa, hot water with honey's not bad. Oh, right? That's nice. Yeah. So Saddam Hussein, he was in power from July 16, 79 to April 9, 2003. He was executed um, with hanging by doing really bad things. I'm getting a Hussein vibe over here. Who do you think this is his? This is what somebody chose as their last meal. Like on Mark Earth. Zuckerberg, well, not comparing him to a criminal. Mark Zuckerberg, simple guy. Yeah. He drives a Honda Fit. But does he eat this shit? Yes. I think it's this one, bruh. Okay, I choose that one. All right, Saddam Hussein. Boiled chicken, rice, and hot water with honey. I told you, I would have done the same thing. You have a lot in common with this guy. Next up, Jeffrey Dahmer. Did you know Jeffrey Dahmer, he dismembered and murdered 17 men and boys. He also was a cannibal. He ate some of his, he, did you not see the show? No. We got two bologna sandwiches for Jeffrey Dahmer. Okay. Some Fritos and some fruit punch. Well, I got pork chops, chicken, garlic toast, and ice cream. This one seems more like an insane person would want to eat. Cause this one just looks too good and I'm sure- but this looks like a human. Yeah, but it's too much different meat. Mm. Wait, eat it how a serial killer would eat it. I feel so uncomfortable. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go with that though. I think it's the meat. He was a cannibal, so that one has more meat. Well, let's find out who's correct. What did Jeff eat as his last meal? Fried pork chops, chicken, garlic toast. Bro, you got the mind of a killer. I'm just putting pieces together. It's like an escape room, you know? Pork chops, not bad. <laughs> My last meal would be a- Wait! We gotta save that for the end. Oh, you're right. Comment down below, what would your last meal be? Hmm. For the next death row inmate meal, we have John Wayne Gacy. He was known for killing 33 men and boys, and he had a job at a children's hospital as Pogo the Clown. Oh, that's messed up. Yeah, and he was killed by lethal injection in 1994. Let's bring out the meals. Deep fried shrimp, some french fries, strawberries, and a bucket of uh, KFC. Hmm, and I got deep dish pizza and a chocolate shake. <laughs> Oh, that's not bad. Mmm, I love deep dish pizza. Mmm. You're right, it tastes like cafeteria no. pizza. Mm -hmm. I think John would be crazy enough to uh, get cafeteria pizza. I think he wanted that because I always choose what I think they wanted as a kid and I always get it wrong. So I'm gonna go with this. It's definitely this one, for mm -hmm. sure. Fried mm -hmm. shrimp, come on, man, that's another level. Psych, I'm gonna go with this one. All right, go with that one, then. So he was from Chicago. Oh. What's Chicago known for? Deep dish pizza. But that wasn't. No! Oh, go! Oh. Oh, sorry, Dang dude. it, man. One pound of strawberries. That's insane, man. That's three to one. I mean, zero. Three to zero. We gotta put the context clues together. Gosh, I would have had it right if I didn't think about John it. John Wayne Gacy. John Wayne Gacy. There are four types of meals here. Clown knows what rhymes with fries. Guys, and that's mm. 33 guys. And then shrimp. Boys, little shrimp. See, mm. little KFC. Yeah. Remember KFC? Look, 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 look. It's you a see man. See closely. It's a man. Put that shit upside down. It's the fucking devil. <laughs> Whoa. See. Wait, turn it back upside down. Is that his body? No. <laughs> yeah, it is. No, it's not. Yeah, this it's is the big finger. head and the little stick body. No, that's just that's just the tie. All right. Anyways, just put the clues together. You'll figure it out. Dang it, okay, I got this next one, let's go. All right. Next up, we have Theodore Bundy, more famously known as Ted Bundy, recently portrayed by Zac Efron. He uh, studied law, so oh. he manipulated his way through the law and legal systems, because he knew every single corner, so that allowed him to kind of escape you know, being like guilty of this, guilty of that. And the thing is like, he is very handsome guy and uh -huh. he uses 
charismatic looks and charm just to gain trust with his victims. Okay, let's see what Mr. Bundy De La Ted <sighs> ate for his last meal. Coffee, milk, apple juice, steak, bread with jelly, eggs, and hash browns. Or Theodore's meal could have been baked potato with sour cream chives and bacon and a Diet Coke. This is pretty good. I could see why Ted Bundy might have chosen this one. Okay, I'm gonna go with this one because the, the different taste, like he wants a little bit of everything. And there's no way the arts department came up with this random meal, random drinks. There's no way. I'd like to apologize in advance for my winning this round. I want you to win. I don't want to get everything right. That's just going to point fingers on me. That's another point. We're out. Yeah! Oh! Dang, I was going the simple route, you know? Actually, you didn't even try the Diet Coke. You would have known because there's knowledge in this can. Try it. Zero calories. This is actually the standard last meal request. Oh. Uh, because he did not ask for one and he did not eat a single bite. This is the standard. This is standard? This is what they give people if they don't just re request one? Yeah, they just, as a courtesy, they don't have to. There's no log. Oh, I know what my last request would be. Why? <laughs> I can't tell you. You gotta wait till the end? I can tell you now. Hey, comment below. Would you rather drink milk or coffee for your last meal request? Coffee. Milk. Next death row inmate we have is Douglas Franklin Wright. He was part of a group that did a bunch of a spree of robberies in the 1980s, I believe. The group resulted in about seven deaths and they put him to death even though he didn't directly commit the murder. I don't know what his last meal is, but guess what? We about to find out. Box mac and cheese. Yep. Some jello and some cornbread. And I have a honey bun. If you're a robber, you probably don't have much money. This is not that expensive, and this is also inexpensive. But it's free. They give it to you for free. Yeah, but I'm thinking oh, about what like they would life. Eat, grow up eating. Yeah. Oh. Think about this for a second, okay? Mm. If I were falsely accused, I would be pissed. I'm, I'd be like, man, shh, F all y'all. Dude, my nose is itchy. I think I touched the shrimp. And you know what they say about people who with itchy nose, they have big balls. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever loses, you know they have to go to jail. I'm gonna say <laughs> that one. Okay, let's go. Cause I would be so pissed. Like, give me my honey bun. You know what I mean? Who is correct? Douglas Franklin Wright requested a honey bun. Why are you so good Is this still man? a thing? I wouldn't be proud of this. <laughs> What? I'm not proud of it at all. Okay, I'm just gonna pick all the wrong ones, okay? Okay. How about that? Okay. All right. Four to one. All right. Let's go. Our next inmate is William Bonin. You know what he did? No. He, he was also known as the freeway killer because he used to take hitchhikers and just kill them. In my head, I imagine him like stabbing the highway. <laughs> <laughs> At least 21 victims yeah. between 1970 and 1980. And uh, yeah, it just caused a disturbance. It, it was here in Southern California. Bring in the foods. Oh. We got wedge salad, spaghetti and meatballs, and garlic bread. Pepperoni pizza with sausage. I wonder if he specifically always got Papa John's. I think Papa John's was alive during that time. So he probably got Wait, Papa, Papa John's. Papa John's not alive? He is alive. I'm talking about the restaurant. I know what he got. This one. Because if he's known as the freeway killer, mm -hmm. he's driving. You think he's eating spaghetti while he's driving? No, this is easy. One hand, one in the steel wheel, one eat la 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 la. You're smart. Yeah. I'm gonna get it wrong on purpose, so I'm gonna get this one. Okay, because I get you know one. why? Hmm. When you eat spaghetti, you don't eat salad. True. Only crazy people do this. What was Willie's last meal? William Bonin selected two sausage and pepperoni pizzas. Ding, ding, ding. Congrats, I'm gonna make you win this, okay? Cause I don't wanna be like pointed at. Like, oh, Guava Juice is a serial killer. That's why he <laughs> acted crazy. Okay. Anybody want pizza? Next up, we got James Edward Smith. What'd he do? Known for his last meal request, actually. I don't know what it is, but he was known for it. Okay. It was unusual. But he worked as a tarot card salesman. Oh, And a taxi driver. Oh. And he went to a union life insurance company. He brought a gun and he had a stocking mask on and he slid open the glass, stuck the gun through and shot the teller. And that's what he got got for. Oh, that's nice. weird. Yeah. One of the things he requested was Rakunda dirt because he thought it would assist him in reincarnation, like in a voodoo type of thing. So he did voodoo. He's a voodoo guy. Well, he wanted to. That's interesting, yeah. 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 All right, let's see what his interesting last meals were. Here I have yogurt. 
Yogurt. Oh, that's a good one. Y yogurt. But he said he's known for his last meal request. It's probably this one. It's a single grain of rice. Or yogurt. Which one do you think would assist more if he was trying to do some voodoo reincarnation? This one. I think so too. Yeah, I'm gonna pick this one though. Just okay. I don't want to get it right. Okay. If you get this right, then that's oh. suspicious. I'm this one, not this one. I'm that one. I'm that one. Okay. He's this one. This one is not me. That one's me. His unusual last meal request was a lump of dirt, but was denied and received Yo, no! <laughs> no! He wanted that Rafiki dirt, but they said no. That's what he wanted. That's what you wanted. No! Yeah. They, whoever did this, they drink me good. Guys, I don't know. I hope I'm not a serial killer, because <laughs> that would be very bad. And I don't think I am. I don't hate anybody, okay? No wonder why this was so good. <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> Voldemort. That's how, would, that's how it would be if I got um, possessed. Yeah. Our next inmate is Marion Albert Pruitt. Mm -hmm. He is a uh, prison murderer. He killed a lot of people in prison. How he got there was he committed murder. And then he killed, and more, then he people. killed more people in the prisons. Oh, okay. Yeah. He even like changed his name to kind of get out of it before or after he killed the, his first person. He changed his name to like Charles James or something. Oh. And then they got him. James Charles? Oh, Charles James. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh -huh. What is the killer's food? Uh, let's see. Let's find out. A charcuterie board with nice cheese crackers and a little bit of bologna and a large pizza. Okay, for mine, oh. I have a large pizza. That is your pizza, my bad. <laughs> my pizza. So I only have this. Yes. Damn, that's more than 40 bucks, bro. I know, I was thinking that too. Also, I already know which one is the correct one. You know how I know that this is the one? Why? Because there is no way arts department spent this much money to fool us. Okay, take away the arts department. It's all about like uh, Sean, Mary, and Albert right here. Oh, Mary and Albert, okay. Mary and Albert Pruitt loved fancy food. Oh, I'm sorry, bro. originally bruh. asked to have roasted duck, but was rejected because the prison would not cook. So instead, his final meal was no crust pizza, whoppers, large order fries, a two, two liter pepper, a bucket of ice, bottle of ketchup, salt, fried egg, plant fries, wash fried okra. Who wants a whopper? Whopper? <laughs> no? For the next inmate, we have Keith Zollemeyer was convicted of killing his friend, Charles. He had a successful Radio Shack robbery, and after that success, he was afraid that his friend Charles was going to testify against him. Oh. So he drove into the woods and he shot him. Luckily, two cops were in hearing range and they heard the gunshot and they apprehended the man. Dumbass. <laughs> All right, in 1999, which meal was Keith Zottlemeyer's last one? Was it Cocoa Puffs? with milk, apple jousi, a cup of uh, or orange jazz. Ah, we or have chocolate Nesquik, chocolate pudding, mm -hmm. two cheese burgers, mm -hmm. and a free ace. Mm -hmm. I would say this. I choose that then. All right, give it an answer, NPC. Keith Zettelmoyer's last meal was two cheeseburgers, fries, chocolate pudding, and chocolate milk. You got it right. Four to five. I knew it. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Our next inmate is Thomas Martin Thompson. He killed the life of Ginger Fleshy. Ginger Fleshy was um, his roommate's ex-girlfriend. And some people believe that he was ordered to kill his ex-girlfriend by, by him. His roommate was actually the mastermind behind everything. So he kind of like manipulated his roommate or threatened his roommate that something might happen to him or his family. If he doesn't go If do he that. doesn't kill. Dang, how did he kill her? I don't know, by there's suffocation, there's stabbing, there's gunshot. Yeah, I know. Gunshot. There's a lot of different ways. Yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite? <laughs> why, why you wanna know that? Okay, See, bro? See? We got crab, spinach salad, pork fried rice, a hot fudge sundae, and a six pack of Coke. I don't even wanna try this. Mm. Mm. I'll try this. I haven't had a Coke in a while, give me that. It still hits. I'm too full, I can't eat it. I'll eat a piece of uh, celery, as my mom would say. Ooh, this is good. All right. All right, you guys have to play this game too, okay? After we say our truths and lies, you have to comment which one you think the lie is. And no changing it or deleting it, because if you change it, we're gonna see that it was edited. Yeah, she's so gonna say edit it. You're gonna be like, oh yeah, and then we're gonna block you. <laughs> <laughs> <What>? <laughs> okay, you go first. Just say the two truths first, because it'll be easier. 
All right, when I got my driver's license for the first time, mm -hmm. my dad said, uh, give the car for a spin, because he got me a, a used car. And then I drove the car, but then I didn't realize his foot was like on the way of the tire, so I ran over his foot. Your dad? Yeah. Oh! I was like, oh, go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Jeez. Okay, next. Number two, and when I was five years old, I was biking. And the bike trail was like on, on top of a hill, and the sidewalk was on top of the hill. I lost control, went down the hill, and under the hill was a lake. And I f went there. I couldn't swim at the time, so I, was, I almost drowned when I was five. And how'd you not drown? My dad ran down as fast as he could with his unflattened foot and grabbed me. <laughs> <laughs> Unflattened foot next. When I was working at uh, Chai's, where we used to work, mm -hmm. um, someone gave me 20 extra dollars. I took it. Why'd they give you 20 extra? Oh, because you were a cashier? Mm -hmm. You want me to guess now, or you want to hear my? They have to guess first. Mm -hmm. Comment down below. Is it number one, the driving? Number two, the biking? Or three, the cashiering? Okay, you want me to tell you what I think? You think, go ahead. I think it's number three. The Chai's? Yep. The, I, I stole 20 bucks from Chai's? Yeah, I don't think you stole 20 bucks from Chai's. Damn, I am good, bro. Correct answer is A. I what never ran way? over my dad's foot. Why would I do that? I ran over Andrew's foot. You did? Yeah. <laughs> Not on purpose. Uh, How many of you got it right? We'll see in the comments. Okay, mm -hmm. you ready? Mm -hmm. I once had a girlfriend that asked if she could drink my blood, so she cut my neck right here, and I let her taste my blood. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See? He likes that because he's still like No. Okay. <laughs> okay. Lie number two. Make sure not to look left or right because I can tell left means you're lying. Right means you're left. Okay. Not. Number two. <laughs> I have found Stop. four chicken heads in my fried chicken fast food orders in my life. The vertebrae and the beak and the eyes. They were when I opened the chicken to eat it, I would see it. Okay. Okay. Number three. I've kissed five girls in one day. Which one's a lie? Probably B. What was that? The chicken head. False. It was C. It was C. I knew it was C. Why do you think I kissed five girls on one day? You think I'm a man guy? Yes. A gigolo? Okay. Which one did he choose? I think he chose <laughs> this one. I think so too. That's a lot of Coca-Colas. And that's less than 40 bucks. So I think Robert Thomas Jr. picked that one. Me too. Thomas Martin Thompson's final meal was garlic. Melted butter and Alaskan king crack. Oh! oh, look at that. So we're tied now, baby. Oh, we got to say our last meals too. I'll go first. My last meal will probably be an assortment of candy, including gummy worms, sour Skittles, and banana laugh taffy. If you want to guess what mine is, I'll give you two options. All Wait. Right. Let's talk about Timothy McVeigh first. Timothy McVeigh. Timothy McVeigh. He is responsible for the Oklahoma bombing in 1995. He's the bomber guy. Yep. Oh. Killed 168 people with that incident Ooh. and injured hundreds more. In 2001, he was sentenced to death by lethal injection. He was the first federal prisoner in the United States to die since 1963. Nobody has been sentenced to death in America until this guy. Oh. Yeah. So mm. this bomber guy, you think he got two pints of mint chip ice cream? Or a Big Mac. I think ice cream. I think. Because that's weirder. If you're going to do what he did, you got to be kind of crazy. And that's a weirder decision. Because mm. like, who eats two pints? If I was going to eat this, I might be able to finish one pint. But okay. I don't know if I could eat two. Unibomber. Unibomber means one. I'm going to do that. He is a domestic terrorist. Yes. I agree with you. I don't want to win this, so I'm going to choose Big Mac. Let's go. And then we get to hear what your final oh, meal is. Of course, is. of course. What it is, boy? Two pints of mint chocolate chip ice cream. My guy. right? You're right. Oh. My guy. Oh. Freeze up. What? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you so good at that? That was accurate. That's all my vital organs you just hit. Yeah, P128 and your spine, which yeah. is P1. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> my final meal is a Crunch Wrap Supreme from Taco Bell and a Toro. Like the the, the belly fat uh, sushi. Oh. And a Crunch Wrap Supreme. If I had to choose for Taco Bell, it would be a gordita. Yeah. A little sauce? Yeah. 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 Tuesday, Thursday, Saturdays. At 11, 11 p.m. a.m. psych. PSD. I mean, oh, HPV. Hey,